Hello there, Farmer Francisco Pibiachis. Today we're going to learn how to farm some arugula and maybe some timothy hay. And in addition, on the side, we're going to get some weapons as well. So I want to make a weapon farm video because I realize I haven't really made one for the main campaign game. I have DLC weapon farm videos, but not any campaign ones. Uh, before I get started, I just wanted to mention that uh, for any new viewers or anybody that's new to the channel, um, please check out my playlists. I um, try and put all my videos into different playlists so you can find videos easily. Like if you want to look for Ranger class stuff or Fencer class or, or weapons specifically or Let's Plays or whatever. I have everything sp uh, split up and I'm also going to add a uh, farming playlist today as well because I have a few videos I'm going to add to that as well. So um, I also want to preface before I get started, um, DLC... One and two is a lot easier to farm weapons for. So, if you don't really care too much about getting everything maxed out or getting everything right at the moment, if you can wait, I would definitely recommend to DLC Pack 1 because DLC Pack 1 is a very good farming mission for it. And it's very fast and it has a lot of silver spiders. Um, but if you can't wait, then here's some ideas of what you can do. Um, all the missions that I suggest. Um, also, something very important this time around is... Uh, well, also, before I say that, um, you also want to unlock missions offline. So what I recommend doing is um, farming offline is a lot easier, unless you have like a group of friends you can you know, farm with online. So what you can do is you can just play all the missions on easy, just breeze through them, and then so you have them all unlocked so you can go to these specific offline, video, offline missions, because when you play offline, there's no weapon limit, so you can take any weapon to any mission, it makes it a lot easier. And plus, the enemies are a lot weaker offline as well. So, um, the thing to remember before you get started on the weapon farming is EDF-5 is a lot tighter spread of weapon drops than in the previous EDF games. For example, most missions will drop a very tight spread, like between, um, like say, a mission drops between level 5 and level 10 weapons only. It doesn't drop, you know, between level 0 and level 15. So it's a lot easier to pick specific missions uh, for specific weapons you're looking for. So I would definitely recommend um, if you're trying to find certain, like for example, um, also the reason I'm playing on the Japanese version right now is because this also applies to English version. It'll work on English version. It's just I have everything unlocked for the Japanese version. I'm still unlocking things on the English version. So that's why I'm using this one. This is my account that has everything pretty much. So like say for example, there's a lot of low-level weapons that are good in this game. Like for example, the Wing Diver weapons. Um, she has a, a plasma launcher level 15 that's very good on Inferno. So you're not going to be able to farm that on the high level missions because, like I said, it's a very tight spread of weapons. So you're going to have to farm lower level missions as well as medium level missions and then also late, late missions as well to get everything. Like the level 55 plasma launcher, you're going to want to get that, but that's not going to drop on the highest uh, mission farming mission I'm going to recommend here. So just to keep in mind, you're going to have to play a, a more a wider variety of missions to get all the weapons in this game, which I kind of like because it's easier to pinpoint the weapons you want uh, because you know this mission drops a very tight spread and you have a better chance of getting that weapon as well. So let's get started on the actual missions themselves that I recommend. So um, right as you get started playing the game early on, um, you're going to probably notice that mission 20 offline. Also, please note that the offline missions are one higher than the online because for some reason they added the tutorial mission as mission one instead of this mission as mission one, like on online. So, so anyway, so it's mission 20 offline or mission 19 online. Um, is is a, just a bunch of red ants on this mission. So this is a very good mission to just early on if you want to get some weapons, you know, crank it up to hard. If you have everything unlocked, crank it up to inferno, and you can play with low health and uh, decently low level weapons because it's just red ants. You don't have to worry about dodging acid or anything. So for this mission, of course, I recommend if you're a ranger, take a shotgun. Shotgun is amazing this time around. It penetrates through targets, so it's very important. Um, also, if you're a wing diver, I recommend just having a rapier and just backpedaling the whole time because they can't get you if you're just constantly flying backwards and using the, the, the normal rapier, not the rapier thrust. Uh, wing, uh, air Raider, I recommend taking a Fire Vigalta. Uh, once you have the Fire Vigalta out, you're pretty much, you can't die. You could also take a Barga as well, if you have a, if you have access to a Barga. Um, that's the giant mech. I'm not sure the exact naming in the English yet, because I don't have everything unlocked, but uh, it's the giant it's the giant uh, punching robot. And then for Fencer, I recommend Blastol Spear, because Blastol Spear penetrates through targets, and it's very strong, so that would be another thing I recommend. Um, I will show these missions, a few of these missions, actually, after I explain all the missions first, and then uh, we'll go actually into some of the missions and show some details. Uh, the next uh, mission I recommend for farming would be mission uh, 62, which is 61 online. And this mission is nice because it just has rolly balls only. 
that come out of ships. You don't have to kill the ships. Um, and you, what you can do is you can hide in a, uh, a car parking garage right at spawn. And all the rolling balls will just run up against the parking garage. They can't get to you. And then um, you can just kill them and very easily you can farm this mission as well. This will be your next mission you want to look for. Like I said, I'll show the location in a bit here after I explain all these. Um, all I recommend for weapons in this one is just don't take anything explosive so you don't destroy your, your building that you hide in. And other than that, you're fine. The next one you could take is Mission 66, um, which is 65 online. Um, this one, once again, has rolly balls only, and it has ships this time that spawns them, so you can constantly be attacking them and, and farming. You know, you can actually allow the ships to drop more and more enemies, and you can just wait a little bit and just farm a bunch of items before you end the mission as well. That could also work. Um, but I'll show you the location of the hide on this mission as well. You just hide in a place where the rolly balls can't get to you, and it's pretty good. I uh, recommend on this weapons on this mission is just anything non-explosive and then something sniper for the ships later on. Um, then the next mission I recommend would be mission 81, which is uh, 80 online. Uh, this one you go underground, makes it very easy because you have very tight caverns you can fight in, and uh, it makes it easy to contain all the enemies and you get a lot of drops on this mission. It's pretty fun too. So uh, the weapons I recommend on this mission is for ranger I recommend either the giant fireball if you have access to it level 56 I think it is the, the really giant uh, giant fireball or if you don't have access to that you can always take the flame geyser or the fireball the little the little fireball or you can just constantly spam fire at the entrances so it keeps the enemies kind of contained in there um, if, if you're a wing diver I recommend the uh, plasma shotgun which is under the plasma machine gun category which is next to the sniper rifles. It's the one that looks like this. It has like a bunch of uh, openings in the front of the gun. It's like a shotgun. It shoots out plasma shots. Um, I recommend taking that weapon underground here. You can even use a low level one if you need to. Um, there's a level 37 one that's very good still and it's low energy cost. And if you spam this at the entrances, they're not going to be able to get through. So it's, it's a very good weapon for her. Makes it easy. Um, if you have a uh, fencer, I recommend having two great mortars to just do a lot of explosive damage at the entrance when they come out. And then if you're struggling with um, health, like if you're struggling with getting killed a lot, like if you can't contain them or if they come after you, then you can always use a great shield or a, a shield in general, just a shield in general and uh, a blast hole spear or something like that. And uh, the shield's very strong this time around. It makes it a lot easier to fight. And then for, uh, for aerator, I recommend taking... His uh, explosive turrets, his his uh, Zex launcher turrets, and then taking uh, two fire turrets if you have access to more than one fire turret. But um, I recommend taking those two turrets because it makes it a lot easier. And then of course he has good depth crawlers to kill stuff as well. So I definitely rec recommend those. In um, the next mission, let's see, let's uh, go back to the mission selection here. The next mission I recommend would be I was on 82 I think last. Yeah. Oh no, sorry, I was on 81. So the next one I recommend is 82, the one after it, which is the one where you first get the access to the Barga and you test it out and it won a bunch of frogs at the beginning. This is a very good mission because the Barga scales to the difficulty you're playing on. So if you're playing on Inferno, you're going to have an Inferno level Barga that has a lot of health. So it makes it very nice. The only negative is the ants. The ants are what kill the Barga. So what you need to do is you need to take weapons that kill the ants. So I recommend if you're a ranger to take a rocket launcher with a good explosion, a good explosive uh, radius, uh, just to attack the ants from far away as they cluster up. Um, you can take for wing diver. I would recommend taking the level 15 plasma launcher that does uh, 7,700 damage. If you if you have access to that, if not, then just take a decent launcher to kill the ants or just whatever weapon you feel like could be good to kill a bunch of ants. Air Raider, I recommend taking bombing plans to hit the ants when they come out. And then and Fencer, you can always take heavy mortars or high altitude missiles to kill all the ants as they come out. Because if you can if you can kill all the ants and, and, and save the Barga until the very end, then you can use the Barga just to kill the cosmonauts. So just something that I recommend uh, for that mission. The next mission I recommend, which is very simple and very safe, is mission 87. This just has rolly balls only. Um, you don't want to take anything explosive, and you want to take something that shoots through targets. And then I'll show you in a moment here where you hide on this mission. And you can hide and do the whole mission by yourself. Very simple, even online if you had to. Um, and then the last mission I recommend is Mission 101, or also Mission 100 online. All this is is a bunch of green ants. Um, 
they have low health, so it's very easy to kill them if you have the right weapons. So the r weapons I recommend for this mission is if you're an air raider, uh, air raider has access to new um, bombing plans that actually drop napalm on the ground. So I recommend taking two, two of those um, and a healing turret or healing, um, what are those called? I forgot. Anyway, the healing turrets or the heal beacon guns to heal yourself. Or even take three fire tur fire uh, napalms if you have access to them, because the damage doesn't really matter. You can take a low-level fire napalm. All you want to do is constantly rotate the napalms, which I'll show here later on in the video here. Uh, constantly rotate the napalms so there's always fire on the ground, and then the ants will just run into the fire and die very quickly. Very easy. And then once you have your fi fire vagulta out, then you're pretty safe. And then for wing diver, I recommend taking a rapier once again. Um, as long as you keep the enemies in front of you and just constantly backpedal and use the rapier, they'll just melt right into your into your rapier and it's very easy with Wing Diver. You can also fly up in the air and shoot the level 15 um, uh, plasma launcher as well if you want to to kill a bunch of them, but uh, rapier you're pretty good with Wing Diver. Uh, Ranger actually is pretty good on this mission too. He can shoot, like I said, take the giant fireball and a healing bomb or take the little fireballs bunch of little fireballs not the not the flame geyser but the little fireballs and just spam the fire around you like shoot your feet around you so it's always surrounding you and they'll just run into the fire and, and you'll be pretty safe you can also take a healing a collection ring like a large collection ring to collect the items so you, it's a little safer for you with health but i recommend that for ranger and then with fencer um you can always take um, two vibro hammers, the, the hammers that shoot a tremor out in front of you and just constantly spam the two hammers. Um, I recommend taking a look at my uh, fencer video of, of how to use two hammers to, if you want to use that uh, tactic. It's under the fencer playlist or under the um, quick tips playlist too, I think. Um, and also, or also you can take a look at my um, other farming video, which is it's called uh, a spinny twirly McDizzy Center or something like that where it's like a funny it's like a funny weapon farm and it shows how you can take fencer and use the hellflame revolvers and just spin around and kill all the greens I made a video on that which also um I'll put that video also in my farming playlist today so you can take a look at that if you're interested but yeah um with two hammers usually fencer is pretty good on this mission um you can also also be you know be mobile and use jackhammer and, and some jumping weapon or whatever as well, or, or, or the um, stampede he has as well, but, uh, but I'll, I like two hammers on this mission personally. But yeah, those are all the missions I recommend. There's really not anything much much uh, easier later on here that, that, that you can kind of farm pretty safely and easily. So those are the best weapons I recommend, and you can get everything on Mission 101 offline or 100 online, so usually usually 100 is, is the mission to farm if you're trying to get the highest level weapons and since it's such a quick mission it doesn't take that long you don't get very much but at the same time it doesn't take very long so it's kind of probably your best bet until the dlc comes out but uh, but yeah let's go ahead and get into some of these missions and show um some some suggestions here so i don't need to cover mission 20 because that one's pretty pretty self-explanatory with the red ants um 62 i'm just going to show really quickly where you hide it's it's right at spawn so it doesn't take long this is probably the, the mission you're going to see a lot of people online farming because it's a nice, decently high level mission. So you spray it, spawn here, turn around, and it's right here. And uh, you can grab those guys so it doesn't take longer. Um, and then grab the guys, take them in here, and the rolly balls can't get to you. So you just fight them, you know, fight them in here, and then collect the items. Not too bad. Um, as far as mission 66, I'll show you really quickly where I like to hide on that mission. I'm going to take Wing Diver just because it'd be easier to, to get there in time. All right, so let's take 66. And I think you'll notice that the lower difficulty you play on, the tighter spread of weapons you have. Like, uh, for example, if you're playing on hard, you're only going to see weapons drop between a five level spread. Whereas you play on Inferno, you might see 10 to level 15 level spread. You know, you might see level 75 to, you know, 90 weapons. But it's still a tighter spread than previous EDF games, so um, it's a lot easier to get the weapon you want. So I like to go over here. I mean, you can go in any of these parking garages, but there's a parking garage, you know, right here. The rolly balls can't get to you. It's a good place to kill them. And then you can always um, kill the ships from here, pop out, snipe them if you need to. But you can constantly just, just farm, you know, um, right here and just kill them all. And then just collect the items. And like I said, they'll keep coming because the ships will keep dropping them. So you can keep going for a while on this one if you want. But uh, this is a good place to farm. 
Or also, there's also um, a building here that I recommend. There's a couple of these buildings. Uh, let's see if I can find it really quickly. Yeah, it's anytime you see one of these weird buildings right here with the stairs on it. Uh, no, I guess I'm wrong on that. Right here. Sorry. This right here, this overhang. There's a couple of these overhangs where you can hang in here and they can't get to you. So, very easy to stay in here safely. And you can also see out there. Um, or you can also go into any of these apartment complexes over here. All these buildings. And these have... Uh, Oh my goodness, I keep getting hit. These have these stairs in here that you that rolly balls can't get to either, and you can also snipe the ships from up here. So there's three locations you can stay. Any of those ones you like will work. So um, that's what I recommend for that mission. And then let's go to 81 really quickly. Actually, I don't think I need to really show 81. Um, 81 is the mission where you go underground. Um, like I said, just the weapons I recommend taking, I think you'd be fine. Um, honestly, I think I think air raiders the easiest if you have Zex launchers and two sets of fire turrets, nothing gets through. Um, plasma shotgun with wing diver is extremely easy as well to take on this mission. So any of those you'll be fine with, honestly. Uh, this mission, uh, let me show a couple things really quickly. Uh, not too much on this mission to really show. Um, you can always get into the bargain at the beginning and use it to kill the frogs, but at the same time. You don't have to necessarily. You can always just fight them from further back and then kill the ants and then get into the Barga. So whatever you feel you need to do to be safer. But uh, uh, I usually like to go up here if I'm, I'm like a ranger or air raider or something. It's a good place to just stand on and let you attack the frogs from far away. Um, you can even go inside here and, and kill the frogs from here at the entrance and then also kill the ants in the here in the entrance and then get into the barga and then use it later as well. So that's another easier way to do. So don't forget about going in here to be safe if you need to use it to kill the ants until you have like a good bombing run or something. But uh, yeah, this is a good place. You can always take all the NPCs in here or you can just leave them there and just wait till they kill the frogs kill them and then go in here and then kill all the frogs from the entrance. You can always call in air raids on yourself here. Um, you can call in like a, you know, any kind of air raid that won't hurt you in this building here with explosion radius. And you can also kill the frogs that way over here. So a few options if you can't actually uh, stay out and fight until you get to the... And then once the cosmonauts come in, you go into the Barga and use it to kill all the cosmonauts except one or two. And then just get out of the Barga. And the cosmonauts will keep shooting at that Barga until the Barga's dead, which is not going to die. And then you can go collect items while you're waiting for the... while, while the, you know, the cosmonauts are attacking the Barga. So it makes it a lot, lot, really easy, honestly, so it's pretty nice. But yeah, you have these NPCs you can always use to, that's are distracting at the beginning while you're killing the frogs, so... You should have time to kill the frogs, fine. But yeah, and then once the ants come out, there's two waves of ants. You want to make sure to kill those with bombing plans, heavy mortars, or just go into this here and kill them from here. And then, then use the Barga, because if, you, if, you, if the ants attack the Barga, you're going to lose a lot of health, and you're probably not going to be able to finish the mission, especially online. But, uh, but yeah, that's... That's that mission. Now let's go to 87 and show you where... This is the easiest one, I would say, to do. Um, let me go ahead and yeah, start mission 87 here. Either 87 online, offline, or you can go 86 online. and do. You can even do the solo online if you had to, which is for you know 2.6x difficulty. Let me show you where you hide on this mission. Um, if you take a sprinting item with Ranger, you have time enough to get to this rock. If you take Air Raider, you can still roll over there. You have time to get over there. Um... But yeah, for, for Air Raider on this mission, like I said, you want to take weapons, it's to the right here, you want to take weapons that do not um, have explosion damage and also that shoot through targets. So for Ranger, I recommend taking a shotgun and probably um, either a sprinting item or if you're having problems getting over there in time, then you can always take a collection ring. Or sorry, a collection ring, but if you're having trouble getting over here in time, you can take a sprint item. Um, for Wing Diver, I recommend just taking probably... There's a laser she has that shoots through targets, but these rocks right here. So, these rocks right here cannot um, cannot cannot get destroyed. So you can just stay right here, and you can, there's only room for one person, unfortunately. But you can just stay right here and just use a rapier with Wing Diver, just kill them. Um, use a laser that shoots through targets. She has a laser that shoots through uh, targets. You can do that. Um, you can use... Really, I think that's her best weapons. Maybe like a, a, a three-burst lance or something like that. Or, or like a, a Dragoon Lance that shoots through targets, that could be good. But you stay here, you're safe. Um, for Air Raider, I recommend taking um, some turrets. Some uh, machine gun turrets can work. Um, you can also 
you have to be careful with taking beacon guns that shoot down like machine gun fire on you because you can't hurt yourself, but that can work if you're careful with it. Um, satellite blaster can work, but if you have to be very careful with that because they get really close to you, so it's kind of hard to um, to shoot the ground and not, not call it right on top of your head, which will kill you. So you have to be careful with that. But uh, really turret guns, turrets are fine. You know, the, the, the turrets you can throw. You can throw, them, you can throw them right here on the ground in front of you. I always just throw them right here and it's fine. Um, fire turrets can work. You have to be careful with those. I kind of recommend machine gun turrets, honestly. You can also take his new um, his new uh, gun, which I'll show here at the menu here. Uh, Fencer, you can just also go here and just use double jackhammers, or you can use shotgun, or just blast little spear. Anything that, that's flashing spear is good, because it'll shoot through targets. So just stuff like that. But you stay here, you're safe. Let me just stay here a little bit longer and, and show you how safe you are here. And then, you know, take a fire of a Galta, or of a Galta in general. Throw that out, and you can always collect items with that. And kill enemies once you get it. But uh, Air Raider has a new weapon that... They got rid of his uh, wire trap gun, unfortunately, from EDF-4. And replaced it with, like, a shotgun he had. Very close range, but it's a close range shotgun. I recommend actually taking that weapon here, because it's very good here. Um, probably the only place it's good at, but as you can see, they can't hit me. But, <laughs> but they get awful close, don't they? But yeah, you can just shoot a laser through them and then, you know, kill them all. Let me go back really quick and show you that weapon with Air Raider. It only has one shot, and some of them has two, has, have two shots, but it's a good weapon for that mission. It's down here. It looks like this gun right here, this weird-looking gun. He has a bunch of different level versions of them. But if you take that, it's very good on this mission. Kills a lot of them very quickly. And then last of all, let me show Air Raider with the fire on the last mission. So let's call in some fire here. One of these. And... One of these. I like taking three sets of fire, it's fine. And where is the last one? Right here. So I got 84, 66, and then... 60 right here. Or 40, 46, rather. And uh, d just take three of those and then a fire Begalta and you're pretty much fine on this mission. Let's go ahead mission 101 here. And all you want to do is make sure you don't waste your fire air raid on like three enemies left or something. Like make sure you you throw you make sure you call them out on the beginning of the wave. So you can just call it out. I'm gonna call it out here. And then just stand near the fire or, or in between the two fires. Um, as, as you'll see, they'll drop from the sky here. This is probably the easiest. Um, and you can just stand near the fire, and they, they have no chance. You can even stand in between it a little bit if you need to. Like I said, if you need a little health, you can always take a healing post to heal yourself to get through this. But um, just make sure you always have a fire turret out. Make sure you time it right. And then uh, I'm going to call another one for the next phase. I'm going to wait till the, the, the last one gets near me and it dies. All right, I'm going to call another one out now. And this double line one is a good one, very good one, because you can stand in between the two of them and then they're not going to ever get hit. And then you just keep rotating and make sure you always have one out and you'll be fine. As you can see, it's like a nice wall on both sides. This is a very good one. And you're fine. Now let me go back and show you Ranger really quickly as well. Because Ranger doesn't have too many issues with this mission either, if you have the right weapons. So let me take a Ranger weapon. I like to, I like to take the Fireball. Um, you can either take, like I said, the giant fireball, which is level 54, that reloads in 23 seconds, or you can take a lower level fireball that shoots four, uh, four shots. I think it's, it's not Umax. Yeah, it's a lot easier to tell in the English version. It's this one right here, level 79. So I'll take that, and I'll take a healing bomb, just in case I need some help. And I'll take a collection ring, too. I recommend taking a collection ring. A lot larger collection ring where it gives you like a larger percentage and then you can easily just collect stuff around you and it's a lot harder to die that way. And this will be the last thing I need to show, really. So like I said, th there isn't too many great options, but it's good enough. This one is fine. Like I said, this is probably going to be your your go-to for the highest level weapons. It takes a while, but it's a very quick mission, so you can, you know, constantly be constantly be doing this mission over and over again. 
you just want to kind of have it so it's around you, the fire so it's around you, and just kind of circle all the way around you on all sides. And you can stay near the NPCs, of course. I mean, I definitely recommend being near the NPCs. I'm just doing this to show you that you can um, survive pretty easily with this with this fire with greens. And the collection ring collects everything for you, which is nice. But, you know, with, with these guys on you and you having fire, you're not going to really have any issues really with dying. And you can even take a lower level fire if you find yourself hurting yourself too much with the fire. I mean, you can kind of shoot so it doesn't hurt you that much, but you, you need to be near it. But um, you can even take the low level fire, the level 40 I think it is or something, and just always shoot it near you and stand into the fire itself and you'll, you'll, you'll be fine. So. And of course, Wing Diver is always... Wing Diver doesn't struggle too much on this mission because, you know, Rapier... Her Rapier is just so so good. You can just backpedal and use the Rapier the whole time. So... And that's pretty much it um, that, I wanted, that I wanted to cover. So... I would say 101 is, is the easiest mission to farm. And then 87, between those two... Uh, yeah, he's, he's, you know, of course, these are one less online, but between these two, you can pretty much farm most of your high-level weapons, and then, of course, for the lo the middle-level weapons, you can always do the the uh, rolly ball ones. So, so yeah, that's what I recommend for weapon farming. I'll probably do an armor farming mission as well, uh, armor farming videos as well. I think you'll find though, with armor farming, you're not going to have too many issues with needing to farm armor because there's so many item drops on the missions now because of the upgrade system that, like you get armor very fast in this game, so it's not as big of a deal. But I will show you some things, some ideas. So yeah, that'll be it for this one. So thanks a lot for watching. And uh, remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind. Ever. And if you'd like to help support the channel, please consider liking and subscribing, and also uh, sitting through a couple ads if you want to as well. It helps out the channel. It makes, I appreciate it a lot. Thanks a lot.